But dang, honestly, I feel like it's kind of blurred. Did it blur a little? I think it blurred a little. That's nice. Okay, sunstick. Korean sunscreens are already elite, but creating sunsticks, they took themselves here, okay? I have been looking for the right sunstick for me. You have seen me, if you're not new here, you've seen me use the Round Lab sunstick. I really enjoyed it, I did. And then I was like, I need a waterproof, a water resistant sunscreen. And then I heard about this Abib sunstick. I mainly need something that doesn't leave me oily, gives me a more matte finish, and is water resistant. That's the goal. This is exactly what this is supposed to do for me. So we're gonna go through this first impression together, and I may do a one month update for you guys because my intention is to use this every day because it's a sun stick and it helps with reapplication. We should be doing that every two hours. I know, it's hard. But a sun stick will make that process way easier for us. So let's talk about what the sunscreen is supposed to do first. A beep airy stun stick smoothing bar. It has SPF 50 plus. It's water resistant for up to 80 minutes and it is 0.81 ounces. In terms of price, let's get that out the way right now. A beep, why are you so expensive? You can get this at anywhere between 16 and 28 dollars. 16 when it's on sale. So clearly, what do you do? You buy it on sale. If it's worth it, it's worth it. But it's pretty pricey, and I actually feel that about a lot of the Korean sun sticks. Why are you so expensive? A lot of the ones I wanted to try have always been in that 21 to 25 price range, and it sucks. But you gotta pay for quality, you gotta pay for convenience, and if that's what this is, that's what this is. This actual box doesn't say much about the product other than it's a smoothing bar, it's a sun stick, prevents, you know, it's a literally sunscreen in the stick. But I wanted to learn a little bit more about it, so I looked it up, and here is what online says. It is a broad spectrum protection of SPF 50 PA++++, that's four pluses, four pluses and enriched with natural ingredients like allotonin and sunflower seed oil. This organic sunstick easily fends off UV rays while soothing and strengthening the skin. Ooh, ooh, we love that. The reef safe and waterproof formula leaves a semi-matte finish with no white cast. Does it have a white cast? Is it actually matte? All the questions that my chocolate skin will definitely be able to tell us. The 5.7 centimeter wide design is curved for seamless application, making the product perfect for topping while on the go. The reason why I really got into sun strips and trying to find a good sun stick for my skin type that doesn't clog my pores, that doesn't just melt off when I'm sweating, that again can be used on the go on beach days, but also just when I'm sitting at my desk when I need to reapply, is because I learned that applying sunscreen can help a lot with your dark spots. It helps, you know, sun makes things darker, especially dark spots. So having a product that I can just quickly reapply will be incredibly helpful. It's supposed to be able to calm the skin while strengthening the skin's barrier. Always helpful to protect your barrier, to repair your barrier, to strengthen the barrier so that you don't have to repair it. When it gets bad, already just strengthen it. That's always the goal here. In terms of directions, just because we think we know everything with sunscreen, but let's actually read it. It says apply liberally and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply after 80 minutes of swimming or sweating. Immediately after towel drying. So at least every two hours is when we should be applying and you can use this on kids above six months, I'm assuming, because it says children under six months, you should ask your doctor. Above, I guess because it's such natural ingredients, then you could go for it. I've never seen this section on a sunscreen. It says sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease this risk, regularly use a sunscreen with broad spectrum value of 15 or higher and other sun protection measures, including limit the time in the sun, especially from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. wear long sleeve shirts, pants, hats, and sunglasses. One of my favorite comments I've seen about this product is that it's good for combo skin, which I have. I have dry skin, I have eczema prone skin, clog prone skin, but I also can be oily in the T-zone. Oh, look at an orange. I was not expecting that. I feel like the one I seen, the black bar, which one is that one? That one is the quick sun stick protection bar, which is not water resistant. I thought this was gonna be more on like the yellow side. It's literally orange, like a very pretty 
peachy color. How interesting. But you see the curve? You see the curve and the convenience of the curve is gonna be able to get into the crevices. That's awesome. They said that this, the person who made the review that I've seen, they said that it was good for combo skin because it didn't break them out, but also it didn't make them feel greasy. First time using any of the products. Let's see what it's given. Okay. I love the shape of this product. It's making it so easy to get into the crevices, don't forget your neck, of my skin. And I don't know if you can really tell. Do you see how the stick itself actually looks matte? So it makes sense that this has a more matte finish. I love how silky and soft this feels. Like it's just gliding across my skin with no issues. You see how it, like, come on. You definitely won't miss a spot with this. That was so easy, that was so quick. That was just smooth. It is so lightweight, uh, really quick. If you made this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're really vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about having glowing skin and growing our hair all at an affordable price. So if that's something that you're interested in, comment down below right now. What your favorite color is. So I know that you made it this far and I can show you so much love for making it here, liking, subscribing, and I hope you keep watching. Look at that as a chocolate girly, no white cast at all. Super impressive. It's a Korean made product. They are amazing in my opinion with the way that they formulate their products. I have not had a Korean sunscreen give me any white cast, but you never know. So I'm always cautious each try, but look at that sunk right in with all the best qualities. The biggest one as a chocolate girly and for me to tell and report back to all my chocolate friends here. No white cast at all. That sunk right in. I love that. It's definitely non-greasy to the application. I don't know how my skin is gonna react over time, so we'll, I'll definitely keep an eye out for that to see if you know I start getting oilier or something. But semi-matte, very skin-like finish. If I do have some oil production, it might help not look so oily, you know, when I reapply. But just the way it feels on the skin and it's so spreadable, I'm smoothing it down my neck with no troubles. It is slowly but surely sinking into the skin, drying down very nicely. I just love that you can't tell I applied anything to the skin. It just looks so natural, but you just watched me apply it. Like, whoa. And it almost, I wanna say almost has a powdery finish to it, but it's such a distinct consistency. I don't know how to explain it. It has a little powdery finish, but it's smooth enough that as I rub my fingers on my face, it's just gliding across. I can feel the product there. Overall, that was a really good experience. That was nice. You know, another thing about the packaging, I can easily throw this in my purse. Very, very convenient to walk around with. I don't have to cross contaminate, get it dirty. I just pop this off, screw up very very easily and it screws back down so you don't got to worry about pushing it up and then you know damaging the product screw it up get some product out boom and this is officially the second application like this is supposed to apply at least two full coats on your skin to really get the protection you need from sun sticks but i have also seen people do the uh blu-ray lights so you know that lighting where they see if it actually is covering their skin and it does so i don't know if you really need it with this product but i did two applications and still it looks smooth it feels smooth it doesn't feel heavy in any way it's super lightweight it's drying down and layered well i am very happy with this product i would definitely be keeping a big eye out on how it does with breaking me out, clogging my pores, leaving me oily, drying my skin out, just anything I notice, I'll be noting. We'll definitely be testing it in the summer. I'll be keeping my eyes wide open in the summer because I don't like things that's telling me it's gonna give me so much protection and I walk out for the sun, sit out for 10 minutes, and I'm burnt. I'm burnt, I'm chocolate. I'm not supposed to be feeling red and, and painful to touch. It's not supposed to happen. Especially when you have things like the abuse, I think. So yeah, y'all, this is nice. Abib, you did something here. I like this. This is so nice.
doesn't look like I really applied anything to the skin at the same time like anywhere that it may have been starting to get a little glowy oily glowy sunk into the skin very smooth very very smooth what happens if you put water on it when they say water resistant will it not sink in okay I have water oh look you can literally see the water particles on my skin oh my god wow Obviously, like, it's water. It's gonna get into my skin, but it kind of, like, stayed on top of there for a little bit. That was cool. I like that. This definitely seems like the out, the right pickup for outside workouts, beach days, maybe you work outside, camp days, whatever it is for your kids to just be able to smooth on their skin, their pre, your preteens, your teenagers, whatever. This seems like a really good pickup, but I'll give you guys an update. So, I'm gonna put this on my desk. I'll use it every day during the work day to reapply and we'll see the only thing though I'm horrible with that upkeep of every two hours for sure especially because I work from home I'm not exposed to the Sun it's more it, like it just feels like I'm wasting the product from time to time and that's another reason why I hate the price point of these they're so they're small and you have to reapply so much but like you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta protect the skin so I get it Here's a shot of my skin now. If I notice any difference in my skin, once I start using it, I will let you guys know. But dang, honestly, I feel like this kind of blurred. Did it blur a little? I think this blurred a little. That's nice. Okay, sunstick. I don't think I've used a sunscreen yet that blurs the skin a little. So I see what they what they mean by smoothing bar. I like it. I like it. I like it. The way it dries down is phenomenal. Cause that's quick. I don't want to feel greasy. I don't feel heavy. I just want to, you know, I want it to dry into my skin and look natural. But yeah, okay, Abib. I'm excited to see what this does for me. I hope it just stays, you know, easy to use, convenient to grab and go and use everywhere and that it's water resistant and that, you know, we can call it a day. Let me know if you have any questions about the sun stick. I'm happy to answer them. Or if you have a prop suggestion or video request, comment them down below right now. Cause if your idea is selected, you will get a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Ciao.